Malta Massey, bringing you the latest happenings in dancehall and reggae music. Shelly Ann Fraser, prize Jamaica sprint legend, has confirmed that she will be retiring after the Paris Olympics this year. Well, Shelly, all I can say is thank you for your many years representing Jamaica. And whatever your decision is, we will support it because goody, you come true for we represent right true. And we're very grateful. We love that. I want to say congratulations to Valiant. He won the award for Best Caribbean Music Act. So he posted this on his Instagram. Then he captioned it, One year and God has been so good to me. The journey has not been easy. Dance all is no game. But my faith and strong mind carried me all this way. I just want to thank all my true fans and supporters who believe in me. I want to thank my day one dog them. Then he listed several persons and went on to say can't big up everybody but Jan no words can't explain how me member them used to say me nah reach far but all me can say is believe in a yourself every ghetto can be great big up all the nominees well massive some liquor mix up a one over the marley them side can i tell you so as we all know the legend's birthday was on february 6th and the birthday wishes poured out guess who made a public post on his birthday none other than junior gong's mother cindy breakspear she posted a series of pictures with her bob and junior gong then she captioned that bob on what would have been your 79th birthday i celebrate the incredible impact you've had globally cherish our amazing son Damien and reminisce about the beautiful times we shared from 56 Hope Road to your mother's home in Delaware and Miami, New York, Oakley Street in London, the Bahamas, Trinidad and beyond. The memories are countless but our love for you is endless. Happy birthday to the people's hero, loved and revered by all. Some people have it to say, Cindy come out so strong because she was left out of the One Love movie. Well, me not watch it yet, so I can't say it's true. But if anybody watch it, on a can make we know if she was left out, yes or no. Anyhow, Ziggy Marley run out strong for mother on Instagram, yes. He posted this picture of her and said, When a woman take a bullet in her head because she loves and stand with you and still show up days after to stand by your side again with no concern about her own safety, it does something to a man. It tells a man something he will never forget. And forever cherish a woman like that is impossible to find one in a billion billion. At Bob Marley hashtag ride or die wife at official rita marley at one love movie ja ziggy posted in his comment section as well i admire official rita marley's strength courage and dignity she is truly from a lineage of african queens and it's not just because she is my mother i have truly seen and everyone who knows her how royal she is I've got stories from my childhood of her standing up under threat that to this day is etched in my memory. This woman is no ordinary woman. Sharon Marley, that's Rita Marley's eldest daughter, said too, but I think she means no woman can walk in my mother's shoes. She is the real queen. That's just facts. No hard feelings. Somebody in my comment section said, Rita Marley kids, I make some serious clap back. Defend the queen, yes. Sidella Marley also reposted Ziggy Marley's post. Guess what Sidella reposted as well? A post from Rita Marley's Instagram page. It's a picture with Bob Marley and the eye trees. She captioned it, reposted from Mama. It was always beautiful when Bob came over mid-concert to connect with me and my sisters. I3, Rita Marley, Marcia Griffiths, Judy Moat, hashtag Bob Marley. Well, Massive, wanna think about this whole saga. 
and I feel like so them really I throw shades at Cindy Breakspear because of the post she made on Bob Marley's birthday or I feel like them just say you know show some support for their mom let me know your thoughts in the comment section below she's on fire she not play on and on she want it on and on she's on fire night and day she know the reason why she wants to stay Bad wine that I use all your man Two foot in the ear make a bad position Where the fuck you boom boom man Come 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 Well that up in your belly make a zoom 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 Marking pan floor Close fell cocky ring up in a hand like four doorbell Tomorrow me no call on heart broken should Russian authorize this one called Bad Girl on Fire? Well, there's none like this one on the rhythm so far. Four artists doing their thing, bringing their own interpretation and style. Their names are Apple J featuring Tilly Bang, Mad Dog, and Jigsy King. I must say their lyrics are not overly explicit, even though it has adult themes. And that's a plus. The mix of artists is a good combination their diversity adds life to the song and keeps it interesting massive are you feeling the vibes if so click the link below to check out bad gal on fire follow apple j on instagram at apple j32 make them know say me senono furthermore feel free to check out apple j's catalog and see if you like his work Massive Mercedes Clipper circulate on the internet and I have to call it the bite of the week. Check this out. And which candidate are you supporting? One out of the name now. An indication that some people will simply be voting along party lines. Take for example this supporter, despite wearing a shirt with the name of a candidate. This man coming like him give a certain look like opportunity and certain look of blight where we can live as garden. Which, which, which man is, who you supporting? Andrew Ole in this man. Uh, who you supporting in this local government election? Well, I mean, I really reach this so yet, you know, but I'm just glad for the Ole in this. But I see you wearing a shirt. Yeah, I will not them give me it for wear it. So I just go and wear it just to them pass and say me for wear it. And I want to wear it still. Quality arm um, labor, right? So I just wear it still. I'm um, sitting you now. A different one from this me did have one last week, you know. Yes, we have some Jamaicans who stay so. I don't know anybody who stay so. Let me know in the comment section below. Ninja Man has released another letter from prison. It came at the right time seeing that it is election time again here in Jamaica. Check out what Ninja Man had to say. This is Ninja Man's second letter to the Prime Minister of Jamaica, Security Minister, Minister of Justice, the Opposition Leader and other interested parties. This is a follow-up to the first letter that was released in November 2023. This letter was stamped and approved by Superintendent Campbell compiled and narrated by Jojo Mack. First and foremost, I would like to wish everyone a prosperous, healthy and safe 2024. This is a second letter referencing the penal institution in regard to the rehabilitation and suggestions brought forward. I would like to thank the opposition leader, Mark Golding, for his response. It was greatly appreciated. It was brought to my attention that some people were critical of the Prime Minister, the ruling party, that they did not directly respond to that letter. I want people to understand that they did not ignore that letter because it was mentioned several times whether on the campaign trail or in Parliament. It was acknowledged and was not criticized criticized in any way. The letter was also acknowledged by the Chief Justice as well. You could say different strokes for different folks. What we must all remember is that while they may take time to recognize the letter, they're in no way, shape or form obligated to do so. And that is why I laud them in this moment. Since the publication of that letter, I have seen where changes are beginning to take place in the institution. I am not sure if those changes were manifested in thought before the letter, but I have seen them being implemented since. Please know that I have never written a letter asking for favors for myself or to complain about me suffering in prison. I have never asked for anything to benefit me personally, but instead for the benefit and strength of the country and its people. In your positions at the helm of society, it is sometimes harder to see what's at your feet. Those who are on the ground can see more clearly as they are directly affected by what is there. 
they're at the root of what is happening. We have first-hand experience. Therefore, it would be wise to give an ear to what we have to say. So yes, we appreciate the acknowledgement, publicly or otherwise. This shows that you are listening to what the people in your charge have to say, even those who are not in the free world. I've had many conversations with a lot of those who are behind bars, and I've come to realize that when a person is sentenced to serve time, the most impactive moment is that moment they're sentenced, as they fast realize that this will be their lives for as long as the sentence lasts. They have conditioned their mind to the fact that this will be their fate and therefore pull on their strengths to take them through it. A place like General Penitentiary could be changed to the Jamaica School of Discipline where people are taught how to behave, where anger management is part of the daily routine as a lot of people have committed crimes because they were angry and were not privy to outlets where that anger could be channeled in a more positive way. I spoke of lending myself in ways that can aid in getting them the help they need as they serve the time they were handed and a vast amount of my fans are willing to assist in helping to see the solutions I suggested come to fruition. Through my foundation, through my team on the outside, they are willing to make donations, whether monetarily or donations in the form of equipment or other supplies that are needed to make this a reality. We can do this through contact with the relevant authorities. As I suggested, having access to learning new skills or improving on the skills they already have can be a huge part of the rehabilitation rehabilitation process. Not everyone institutionalized had or still have bad intentions. So if they're offered options that can assist them in being progressive members of society, when they're released, the country will benefit. After all, at the end of the day, when that man or woman returns to the general populace, it will be as someone with a more positive mindset. I spoke about those who already have a skill set that can make a contribution to the country while serving their time. But for those who are not skilled, the institution could offer classes to help them garner skills that will help them when they return to society. The aim would be to not have criminals return to society, but people who will be geared for a more purposed lifestyle. On the other hand, the prison system could be seen as an income generating agency that funds itself as mentioned in my first letter to you. The Prime Minister, the Opposition Leader, Minister of Justice, Minister of Security and other members of your cabinet. We have one of the best Deputy Commissioners of Prison in the institution, Miss. Stone, who have served on many levels. She knows every prisoner by name and she's well respected. Given the right tools, she can make a difference. Superintendent Campbell is one of the best and most respected in the prison system. He aids in fostering peace and unity within the system, along with Superintendent Clark and others whose names I can't remember at this time. They are the kind of people who are willing to see these ideas come to life, but they need help to make it happen. We are willing to help. I, Ninja Man, I'm more than willing to help. I know in my heart that my Prime Minister, my Leader of Opposition, and other leaders in government would not reject something that would be for the amelioration of the country. People talk about prisoners living on taxpayers' money. That can be a thing of the past. We need to utilize the facilities at Spanish Town Prison for livestock farming. There's a greenhouse that can be utilized to help fund the prison system as well. People who pay taxes would like to see their taxes used in other ways to support the country, not feed able-bodied prisoners, but funding is needed to implement these efforts. I, Ninja Man, have paid my share of taxes, but I do not want to be fed from taxpayers' contributions. There was once a program in the system called Reference for Life that started at the gun court and extended to Spanish Town and General Penitentiary that was doing so well that inmates doing life sentences could go out under supervision to do what the government required of them. It was doing so well that some could even visit their families and return to the institution, and there was no problem. Treating the problem from the inside out can indeed make Jamaica a better place. There are many Jamaicans living abroad. They get on the internet to air their grievances about their fear of returning to Jamaica because of criminality. We would love for them to have a change of heart, and this is one way of restoring the confidence they once had. Once again, I am begging the Prime Minister, Leader of Opposition, Minister of Security, Minister of Justice, and other relevant members of government to walk the prison, have conversations with the prisoners, so you can see that there are many people with a lot of good inside who are willing to be rehabilitated. The JDF can help in this feat 
As we all know, teamwork makes the dream work. I do not believe my thoughts are superfluous, as everything I have suggested is viable. Once again, I pray you take this into consideration. In my next letter, I will have a list of what is needed in order to be fully operational. Much respect and blessings. With love, Ninja Man.